nutrition in plants. Other modes of nutrition in plants, heterotroph plants. This is the episode 4 of nutrition in plants. Other modes of nutrition in plants, so these are the other modes that are uh, of the heterotrophic. Okay, just like we have learned that the modes of nutrition in plants. Are divided into two parts. They are divided into autotrophs, autotrophic nutrition, and heterotrophic nutrition. So, this heterotrophic nutrition is now again divided into four parts, and these four parts are this. See, these are divided into four parts parasitic nutrition. So, sorry, parasitic mode of nutrition of heterotrophic. These are heterotrophic plants. If you have not seen the episode one, then it's difficult for you to understand this. Also, uh, go through the episode one. The link is in description. So, parasitic plants. So these, sorry, parasitic is the uh, one of the heterotrophic nutrition. Then insectivorous and symbiotic and saprophytic mode of nutrition. These are of heterotrophic nutrition and these plants are also known as non green plants okay we have uh, uh, learned about the heterotrophic animals also so all the animals and uh, we humans are heterotrophic uh, sorry we are heterotrophs okay and now we are going to learn what types of those uh, plants that are heterotrophic or okay, some the absent absent chlorophyll plants that are also known as the non green plants so these all are non-green plants. Uh, some are, uh, some of them are uh, green, but they require some more things. Uh, for that, they depend on the autotrophic. Okay, autotroph plants. So first of all is saprophytic nutrition. In this nutrition, the plants. Okay, the plants which derive means obtain. Or take their food or obtain their food obtain the food from the dead okay from the dead and the decaying matter dead and decaying matter organic matter they are known as saprophytes saprophytic plants or saprotrophs okay so they feed on the dead and decaying matter the make the plants that, they, uh, that are dead okay so they feed on those things Dead and decaying matter, there may be some small animals, small insects, or there may be uh, uh, plants. So, they uh, or it can be anything else also other than non living things. Just like the example of bread, the expiry bread, if you keep it out in the uh, uh, if you keep that out or in the container that is completely locked. Sometimes it happens that uh, if you keep it in a container and also in from so many days, then a white layer comes on it. Or if you keep it in the sunshine, then also white layer comes on it. That is the layer of fungi. Or fungi, whatever your teacher recommends you to say, because different teachers pronounce it in a different way. So, whatever teacher says to pronounce it in what way, pronounce it as your wish. Okay. So, the mode of nutrition in plants such as fungi. And mushrooms and also some bacteria are saprotrophic. So mushroom is saprophytic because mushroom is not in green color. Mushroom does not have chlorophyll, but it feed on the dead and decaying matter. Okay. And fungi feed on also feed on dead and decaying matter. We have seen bread mold, the bread that has covered with a white layer and it stinks a lot. So the layer is of fungi. The parasitic nutrition. So, so this is the second mode of nutrition, parasitic nutrition. So, the mode of nutrition in which the plants derive their food. So, in this nutrition, the plants obtain their food from the bodies, okay, from the bodies of some other green plants and animals. It's called parasitic. Okay, in this, the uh, plants. They derive their food, of the, obtain their food from the bodies of some other green plants. Or from the some other green plants, they take their food, and also from the animals, some animals, even some parasites. So the 
plants which depend wholly means wholly means completely or fully dependent completely dependent on the host plant okay and host is what see just suppose this is the plant a and this is the plant b plant b is heterotrophic plant and this heterotrophic plant can be saprophyte or sorry they can be parasitic okay and this is autotrophic this a is autotrophic okay and this is a parasite and b requires the food from this autotroph so the autotroph this a is giving food to b a gives the food to b so this uh, b so, so this b is getting the food from a so the a is host of uh, host plant so a is the host a is nothing but the host same as here in the plants okay. so holy means completely well, fully dependent okay puri tarah se dependent on the host plant for their food are called totally parasitic they are totally dependent okay for the full food the full requirement of food food the food, uh, whole food they got they get from the host plant they are known as the totally parasitic plants and the plants such as cascuta apothem uh, apothentis certain bacteria fungi and to are totally parasitic now uh, these are certain bacteria and fungi not all not mm, some fungi are uh, parasitic also okay that depends okay, not all but some fungi are parasitic and some bacteria are saprophytic and parasitic also okay. and the plants okay, the plants which make a part of their food so in this this the uh, in uh, so what they are known as they are known as the partial parasite uh, partial partial parasitic plant means uh, now this plant is the holy parasitic come get the complete food from the host plant but in this the plant can prepare its own food but the but the nutrients are uh, obtained from the host plant okay it can it has chlorophyll and it can prepare its own food but it but for the requirement of nutrients it depend on the uh, that uh, host plant okay so the plants which make a part of their food themselves by photosynthesis but they derive other components such as water minerals etc food from the host plant they are known as partial parasitic parasitic so they make a part of their food but the other part of the food is uh, they cannot make the full food but they can make a part of the food and the other part they get from the host plants which the nutrients the water the minerals the nutrients these things they obtain from the or derive from the host plant okay and you can see uh, a pic here this is uh, a, this is cascuta and this is a both i don't know the pronunciation perfectly but let's see this is how it look like okay and these two are wholly parasitic it cannot prepare its own food they depend completely on the other plant and this is also one of the plant uh, i'm not sure at its pronunciation but i and uh, so just this is a, a plant uh, i just forgot the name it starts from m and okay just wait let me tell you the name i'll just wait for a second okay so uh, for the pronunciation that i got from the google that is mistletoe it is showing me it's mistletoe but i don't know the exact pronunciation whatever it but the google uh, gave me the pronunciation of mistletoe so this is uh, and i'm showing the spelling you can check in the google this uh, it will give you mistletoe pronunciation only so this is mistletoe okay this is you maybe have seen in the christmas or some movies animated films okay? uh, the based on christmas so see this plant this is mistletoe okay? and it is also partial parasitic plant 
Now the most in uh, the most interested interesting one is this, and this is the easiest and the most interesting. That is insectivorous plant. So what is special in these plants? That these are insect eating plants. These are also known as insect eating plants. Okay. So the mode of nutrition in which the green plants. So these plants are green, but not at all much green. Some plants you will, uh, you will find of these well, maybe green or some maybe of different color. So they don't have that much chlorophyll, but yeah, and they they are uh, they can prepare its own food, but same as partial parasite. They can prepare its own food, but the nutrients, the nutri, the nutrients are required, and for their nutrition, who gives the nutrition? Insects give them the nutrition. So the mode of nutrition in which the green plants make their own food, but depend on insects for nitrogenous food. For the nutrients, they depend on insects. Okay, it can live without without insects, but the uh, requirement of nutrition, right? We cannot eat uh, junk food all the day. We require healthy food for nutrition. Okay, so that is the case here. Okay. They can prepare its own food, but they require nutrition. So the pitcher plant. This is the pitcher plant. First, uh, see, this is pitcher plant. These two. You will you if you search on Google, you will find many pitcher plants with completely red color some with both the red and green color and some completely green okay. they are different colors of this but they are maybe mostly in red and green okay, just like you can see in this picture okay. and see uh, what the thing is that the it eats the insect the insect sit on this and then they catch the insect and now a question arises that uh, why do insects know okay, uh, here uh, if you if the insects will be go if, if the insects will go there then they are definitely go, going to get killed with by this insect right the insect will kill that uh, sorry the plant will kill that insect so why will the insect go there see uh, you have seen a butterfly on the flower because the uh, fragrance and the beauty of the flower attracts the butterfly same as here the beauty of this picture plant and the, it has a sticky liquid inside it and that has a fragrance that attracts the insect and the in insects uh, love that smell and the, the fragrance and the beauty and then it goes and sit there and then what happens it gives uh, and then uh, the insectors uh, can eat it. And this uh, the second one. second one is the sundew, and this sundew is this one. These two are sundews, and the third one that is bladderwort. This is bladderwort. This is all ah. the This one looks creepy, but. This one is the most pretty one. These two are pretty. Okay. So what happens is that this is a very sticky plant. Okay. It is these two. It has sticky liquid inside it, but this has a fragrance and stick, sticky. Uh, from outer only it is sticky. And then the insect sit on this. Just suppose the insect is sitting here. The insect, whatever the insect is, and then it. What happens? It gets starting rolling, rolling, rolling. And it traps the insect. Okay, it it just in a picture plant it closes its lid, it uh, closes its lid and then release some digestive enzymes and then kill the plant. So it can kill the insect. But here it rolls the, the it starts rolling and then it crushes the insect. See, this is these are some images of picture plant. Symbiotic plant. Now this one is yeah, you can say sim sibling plant also because in this two plants live together. Okay, two plants or two plants uh, live together 
as parts of the same plant. एक same plant में तो two plants live together, but as a part of that same plant, and they mutually help each other. They help each other to get the food. They are known as symbiotes. So lichen is a symbiotic. Symbiont. This is you can see here. So um, the so this is, this is these are just two partners. These are two partners that help each other so that both of them can get the food in proper amount. Thank you, Dad. Uh, in this is enough for today, and we will meet again with a new episode. Okay, and this video will be available in Hindi also when it will be uploaded. The description will be edited and the link will be dropped there. Okay. So if you are watching this video very late, so check out in the description there will be link. And if you are just uh, watching this video within two three days soon, uh, you just check it out if there is no link. Then uh, wait for. Uh, Sundays, the link will be dropped there whenever the video will be uploaded in the Hindi version. And all the episodes of Nutrition and Plants you, you can see in Hindi English both. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification option so that you can get the updates of the new videos.